we are solving problems of Halliday and Resnick fundamentals of physics. And we will solve today the 54 problem of chapter 4 of the fundamentals of physics. I will read it and then we will solve. A ball is to be shot from level ground with cer a certain speed. The figure here shows the range it will have versus the launch angle. The value of the angle determines the flight time. Let T max represent the maximum flight time. What is the least speed the ball will have during its flight if the angle, the launch angle, is chosen such that the flight time is half of T max? This is the problem we will solve. Let's remember, let's start remembering that this movement, the movement of the ball, to be something like this. Let's do it with dashed. Something like this, a parabola. So, here we can represent the initial velocity of the ball. V0. V0 is the initial velocity of the ball and we also represent the angle of the launch. Theta 0. And, okay. So, we can write we, we can write the the vertical position of the ball as y equals the initial ver ver vertical position, 0, start from 0, and then we have the initial velocity, v0, in the y direction, times t, minus the acceleration, divided by 2, t squared. This is the equation representing the vertical position of the ball. Then, if you look at this equation, the ball will start in the zero vertical position and in the final position of the ball, it will reach again y equals zero. So, when y equals zero, we will have the total flight time, so the flight time can be found if you put zero in this equation. So let's do it. Zero equals v0 in the vertical direction. So if you have the magnitude of the, the velocity, if it is v0, the vertical velocity, it will be v0 multiplied by sine of theta 0. This is the vertical velocity multiplied by the time. Minus g, the acceleration divided by 2, t square, squared. This, with this equation, here we have the total flight we can found the total time. So we write the total time, the time of the flight will be V0, 2 V0, 2 multiply V0, sine of theta 0, Divide by, oh, divide by g. So, this is the total time. As you can see, the total time, the, the time, the flight time, uh, we will be related with theta. And we, what we want is the the maximum time so the maximum time 
will happen when this function reaches a maximum but it's a sign so the maximum value of a sign it will be one so the maximum time will be two multiplied by v0 divided by g and then we want to know what's the least speed the ball will have during its flight if theta zero is chosen such so that the flight time is half of t max we have t max here so if the flight time equals half of t max the flight time will be v0 divided by g this is the flight time and when we want to know what's the least speed the ball will have the ball will have a constant velocity in the x direction because the movement in the x direction is uniform so in the x direction the velocity always will be the initial x velocity that is v0 multiplied by cosine of theta zero the velocity in the vertical direction will change and the least vertical velocity occurs when the ball is in the maximum height here the velocity the vertical velocity will be zero so the least velocity that's what we want the least speed will happen when the vertical velocity is zero so let's uh, let's equate these two equations we will find that v0 divided by g equals 2 v0 sine of theta 0 divided by g so we cancel this and we cancel this and we'll find that sine of theta 0 equals 1 divided by 2 which imply that theta 0 equals let's do we want to know the angle theta 0 so the sign okay 1 divided by 2 oh. 1 divided by 2 okay now it's correct so the angle it's simple is third degree the least velocity occurs when the velocity is the x velocity when the velocity the vertical velocity is zero so the least velocity the minimum it will be the x velocity that is v0 cosine of third degrees so the least velocity the minimum of the velocity will be square root of 3 divided by 2 multiplied by the 0 this is the minimum of the velocity we will have so it's very very easy very simple problem let's 
put it and this is the solution of the problem. Mm -hmm.